All right, Big Hodge for Big Hodge Media. I'm live in effect, and I'm out here in the West Coast. It's sunny, it's beautiful, and things are going good. Um, I'm doing my follow-up review on this Sony FX30. Yes, this Sony FX30. Yes, it's a great cinema camera. Um, what can I say? I have the Sigma 18-35 to um, art lens with the MC11 adapter. Works great like a native lens. I have the top handle sound module control up here um i got it rigged up with a v-mount battery and uh i've been doing some running and gunning i've been testing um didn't do any paid work with this because i wanted to run it through its course on my account um so far so good i'm satisfied um great vlogging camera so far it's looking like a good b cam to a big production um i'm really really surprised in the um image quality as far as like uh the dynamic range it's um uh, it's been given 14 stops of dynamic range but image quality on after we grade it it'll usually i mean it holds up it really does hold up um i'm just so spoiled by my black magic pocket 6k camera here the 6k pro I'm usually um, running and gunning with that and some big cinema lenses, but neither here or there. I'm um, talking about the Sony FX30. Um, yes, I purchased it. I purchased it. I was in a dilemma of tied between this and the Panasonic S5 Mark II. The reason why the S5 Mark II has 6K open gate and it also has full frame sensor. The only thing, the only caveat that held me back from this purchase was the fact that I was already invested into Sony E-mount, Sony full frame lenses. I already had Sony already standing by, but that still doesn't rule out that I still might purchase the Panasonic S5 Mark II, but there's a rule of thumb, rent before you buy. So that way you could test it and put it through its motions. And speaking of putting things through motions, let's stop this video right here on Tech Talk and get into the sponsorship of this video. And that is the good folks over at I Choose Mogul. Yes, I Choose Mogul clothing brand, LLC. You could go ahead and purchase all these funky fresh wares. Yes. On IChooseMogul.com. Yes, tell them Big Hodge sent you. The brand ambassador, the producer. I sent you. So, yes. I pulled the trigger and I purchased the Sony camera. Another Sony camera, Hodge. Come on, another Sony camera. Yes, another Sony camera is reliable. It's good for my social media content. I'm invested in so many lenses. I'm not a Sony fanboy, but I can say that Sony gets the job done for me. Um, quick turnarounds is provided by Sony because I've had so many cameras. I've had um a6300 a6400 a6500 uh a7 a7s3 freaking a7c i'm shooting this content right now in the a7c right now in my office in my creation space good stuff even though it's an 8-bit color depth um gets the job done quick turnaround easy um easy editing but when talking about file sizes or just bits um, we got 10 bit 422 in this with 4K 60. Um, when also talking about the application through the dynamic range and color grading, this thing is a gem right here. Uh, I will say that it's no black magic color science, it's no black magic highlight and contrast roll off, and but it is there. It is there. It is a good complimentary piece to the FX3, which is a full frame big brother to this FX30 here. This FX30 is um, it's reliable. It's very reliable. It's uh, I love the robust uh, design of this. It's kind of like a remnant of my A7C right there. But it's Sony's um, introduction of APS-C into the cinema line. And uh, it has good all-around uh, functionality. 
and I cannot lie about that. The functionality has been great for me. Um, I've thrown it on the gimbal, but when I did throw it on the gimbal, that was probably last week. When I threw it on the gimbal, I was using the 11mm 1.8 Sony lens, and um, I didn't realize that I had active stabilization on the lens. So, you know, there's kind of a wobble there, and yeah, I had to run its course. I was testing out the S Cine Tone. I ran its course on that. Great image. Um, I did. I do have other lenses, but they're full frame lenses. Of course, a 50 1.8, a 85 1.4, and what I got here, Tamron 28 to 75, which is my run and gun lens as far as like quick social media content. And um, I do have the Sigma Art 1835, but I use it primarily for like quick turnaround content on my Black Magic. And I said, hmm, if I could have one lens that could do just about as much work as possible, I would think the Sigma Art lens would be my workhorse. I said, let me just purchase the MC11, throw it on this crop sensor camera. It's a crop sensor lens and it gets the job done. It's very sharp. The lens is very dependable. The lens is very reliable. Um, it's clinically nothing. There's nothing special. It doesn't really hold any characteristic on it, but it just gets you a clean, sharp image. And throwing that on this and having those focal lengths um, measured out at a 1.8 aperture, it gets the job done. Meaning that uh, I can get shallow depth of field. I can also get low light performance if I need. This isn't a low light monster. This isn't a low light camera. If you shoot an S-Log3 and you go into the automatic ISOs, which was the dual base, you could go from 800 to 2500. And I'm pretty sure with a 1.8 aperture lens that you could get quite a great image in low light. Functionality. I love it. <clears throat> I could take this rig here and move around. I could do documentary work. I could do uh, corporate work. I could do um, music video work if I do plan to do such. I have the top handle module with a XLR microphone on here. And of course, you know, the dead cat to take away the wind. I have some filtration on. I have the Cine Bloom from Moment. I have the Cine Bloom. Um, filtration lens for um, diffusion and I believe it's black pro mist 10% um, just to take the edge off the sharpness on the art lens does good magic here my black magic camera delivers so much high-end work well high-end to a guy like me it delivers such great work and the turnaround and workflow is just immaculate. Can I say the same for the Sony um, FX30? I can, I can. I can say that um, the images are downsampled from a 6K sensor, well, a 6K image downscaled to a 4K image on this APS-C sensor, which actually gives a sharper performance. So there you go. So, throw filtration on that and you kind of take off the edge and you get beautiful halation and good cinema quality i don't want to say the word cinematic but i'm just about to cinematic that's like a youtube curse but for the main features of the ergonomics and the form factor it's just like very small compact but you get bang for your buck you know purchasing this body body alone is $17.99 what's to complain about you get the top the top handle module the audio module you got to spend about 21 22 maybe up to 23 if you get stuff with perks you know like those amazon bundle packages so with all that value packed into this little camera i can say that this is a good follow-up to the fx3 delivering us a crop sensor camera good b-cam and another good introductory into the cine lineup good stuff so i do recommend this camera if you are a content creator if you're working on short films yes you can pull it off with this camera here 
This camera could be a good crash cam, a B cam, social media content cam. Um, with high quality, high quality all around. So, also, before you do anything else, make sure you subscribe and like the Big Hodge Media channel where we do tech talk and we talk about lifestyle and motivation. Feel free to continuously watch these videos, support this channel, so that way I could continue to provide you high quality content. Remember, you got to turn your notifications on. So every time I upload a video, bing, you get it. As I sign off, cop the purple tape. Only built for Cuban links. I'm not fucking with this. If you're a hip hop enthusiast, French vanilla, butter, pecan, chocolate deluxe, even caramel sundaes are getting touched. Peace.